Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back in Istanbul, Turkey, my favorite place of all time. Istanbul is one of the oldest city in the world with super rich history. In today's video, I would like to take you guys to explore some new places. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Day one in Istanbul, we're headed to the largest of the Princess Islands. We're on a ferry boat. Buyukeda is in the Sea of Marmara near Istanbul, one hour boat ride from the city. Contrary to Istanbul chaos, you can find a lot of nature and peace on this island. On this trip, I wanted to explore places I didn't get to go on my last few trips, so ferry boat was definitely a must try for me. Ferry boats are a form of public transportation for the locals. For tourists, you get to enjoy the best view of the city. For American dollars, it costs you less than a dollar for an hour boat ride. At Buyukader, you want to explore its historical structures, mansion, and nature. When you walk around on the island, you can find many historical hotels. Try local street delicacies. And of course, if you have enough time, swim in the bay of this island. My next stop is the Grand Bazaar. Grand Bazaar is one of the oldest mall in the world and it has over 4,000 stores. Welcome to Georgia, I'm so famous. I do that by Instagram, no please. I know I have included Grand Bazaar in my previous video, but I don't think I have done enough exploration. That's why I came back here. So I don't know if you guys know, I am such a big jewelry fan. Um, in the past, my fiance has been giving me uh, a lot of like necklace pendants as a gift every time we have special days, but I only have one neck, so I came up with an idea to put a couple of This is the end result. I put two of the pan, three of the pendants on this necklace. Oh, by the way, when you're shopping, they serve you hot tea here. In Grand Bazaar, you can find all kinds of unique items. Today, I am buying these perfume oils. It's like a perfume concentrate or essence. Guess what? Apparently, you can add a little bit of alcohol in those. Uh, perfume oils that I was uh, buying so they actually have it here they have these type of like uh, perfume bottles uh, if you ask them they can add the perfume oil in the bottle and add alcohol in it to create a perfume for you you can even mix the, the smell and create your own it's super super cool and he's gonna do it for me now Hi. So 
love the rose. I love rose. And the Turkish fragrance. Love, Turkish love smell. So there's one called Turkish love. It's a very beautiful floral uh, fragrance. So he's mixing that. <gasps> this one's here. Turkish love. Uh -huh. Stumble walls. What about this one? What about this one? And now he's adding alcohol. So our Grand Bazaar exploration came to an end. I wanted to share these with you guys to give you a little different perspective. I believe traveling is not just about seeing beautiful places. It's about learning the locals lifestyle and culture. It's obvious that we're suffering from worldwide inflation after the pandemic. But this trip made me realize some country got hit way more than others. Inflation in Turkey hit a 20-year high, the lira which lost 44% of its value against US dollar in the last year alone. Farah, how does it feel? <laughs> if you have ever considered traveling to Turkey, now might be the perfect time for you to support their economy. Turkey is not just full of beautiful scenery, it's also a food heaven. In this video, I will be taking you guys to some of the most beautiful restaurants in Istanbul. Make sure to check out the description box for address and more details. After a long day of shopping, my friends brought me to this beautiful restaurant in Florida district of Istanbul. I will put the address and the link in the description box. Floria is located along Marmara Sea. Its residents are relatively affluent. This restaurant has the most gorgeous garden view I have ever seen. Their food from appetizer to grills are beyond delicious. Presentation of each dish shows their attention to details. I will highly recommend you to visit here. There are two large holidays celebrated in Islam. Even though it was unplanned, I was lucky to have made it to Istanbul this summer for the Qurban Eid celebration. Right now, you're looking at an Uyghur family's house in Istanbul. This is pretty much how we decorate our homes and especially the Eid table. I'm very lucky through this opportunity I get to showcase to you guys. One thing I miss the most every time I go back to America about Istanbul and Turkey in general is the way we have breakfast here with friends and family, especially looking at the view of Marmara and Bosphorus. There are so many cafes, restaurants, and rooftop lounges that I have explored on this trip. As a first-time visitor, you probably will have a hard time finding out locations like this. So I'll share all the information, details of the location and addresses in my description box.
if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel i will try my best to create so much more fun content for you guys and if this is your first time on my youtube channel i have another great uh, video for uh, istanbul that is more friendly for the first time visitors you can definitely check it out up my Istanbul trip and I really hope you guys enjoyed my video and I can't wait to come back here to my favorite city to share more uh, fun experiences in Istanbul. This is the city that I can never get tired of and there are so many so many places to explore. So stay tuned until my next Istanbul video and also my next uh, YouTube video. See you guys soon! Fun fact, I almost got arrested in order to shoot this drone video, so enjoy the view while you can because it came to me in a great cost.